I think that uh, wearing a mask right now um, it really uh, changes your personality. It may, if I don't know who you are, makes you very strong. <laughs> when, you, when you have to show your face, it's a different story. Many of the police have told me that protesters are very strong wearing a mask. As soon as they get arrested, they take the mask off. They become very like young students. You know, and some of the protesters are, have been arrested are as young as 13 years old. And, and, and it's very sad. It's like a video game. They're used to playing and seeing how I can beat <laughs> the, the enemy, which is the police. Um, I think that uh, it's, it's kind of unfair for the police. And uh, I believe that uh, we wouldn't be the first city in, in the world to ban you know, the wearing of masks. Every city needs law and order. When that breaks down, then you have to do something drastic. And I believe law and order has broken down in Hong Kong. We need to bring back law and order somehow. And I know the solution is not the easy one, but uh, uh, removing the mask is one alternative. It's like a cancer. When you have cancer, if you don't stop the cancer early, it'll spread to your body and kill you. We've got to put our foot in the sand and say, okay, enough. If this is the way forward.